son of Haditha. For those in on the carnage that is the Iraq war, the term Haditha tells it all. Haditha is not a person, it is a place, a village in Iraq where U.S. soldiers went on tilt, killing several dozen Iraqis, men, women, and babies. The Haditha massacre happened six years ago, but it wasn't formally resolved until several weeks ago when an American sergeant, Frank Wouterich, got off virtually scot-free. Charges against most were dropped, and one soldier won acquittal. To call it a whitewash would be an understatement. It seems that now that a formal U.S. troop withdrawal has been declared, there is no longer a need for the PR of seeming to have a fair trial when Americans kill innocent Iraqis. If anybody believed Americans went to Iraq to help them, Haditha erases that lie. Within weeks of Haditha's resolution, one U.S. soldier goes on tilt in Afghanistan, spraying civilians, going house to house, killing some 16 people at least. As in Iraq, so in Afghanistan. An imperial army invades, armed with words like democracy, human rights, women's rights, and stopping torture. Then Haditha happens. Then Abu Ghraib happens. Then Kabul happens. In fact, empire happened. And we are all watching its degeneration as we speak. Afghanistan, Iraq. Is Iran next? From imprisoned nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.